wearing trunks with white and gold trim, he says, five feet, eight, and what happened to Saul? He weighed in the ten stone, six pounds, five ounces. He comes to us with a perfect, undefeated record of ten, twelve wins, zero losses, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. Okay, boys, both know the rules, but you to obey my commands. Tell you to break, break clean, defend yourself at all times, boys, okay? Touch gloves. Mark Lyson with the final instructions there, and these guys couldn't wait to get hands on each other at the press conference and the weigh-in. And if those two events are anything to go by, this one might be a bumpy ride, so strap yourselves in. Ten rounds or less at World's Weight. Florian Marku in the green, gold and white. Dylan Moran, the Irishman, in the blue and silver. Cracking atmosphere inside the AO Arena Manchester already early in the evening. These two weren't short of one or two things to say to each other throughout the whole build-up. And we've already put them in a bracket. Dylan Moran, the superior boxer, perhaps. Florian Marku, the superior fighter, perhaps. But Matt, Tasha, you would think there's more to it than that. Yeah, I think Dylan Moran here looking to establish his jab, find his range. He's tried to feint the jab. Oh, got caught with a here. It was just one punch, you could see that it hit him instantly. And it was just one thing that Marcus can do, he knows when he's hurt someone and he's sensitive. And he has been guilty in a few fights of taking his foot off when we believe that he could have stopped people and it cost him the draw. Um, but obviously he, he's learned from that and respectfully he goes over to the corner. Well, that in 19 fights, Dylan Moran has been beaten only once. He didn't even get a foothold in the fight. Marku, straight from the first bell, was right on it. Yeah, well, Moran was trying to get his jab going. He was trying to find his range. He tried that lead right hook, got blocked. But then he got clipped pretty much straight away, and he never really managed to recover from that. His legs buckled. Marku smelt that, you know, they'd hurt him, jumped on him. Unleashed a barrage of punches, both hands, and Moran just didn't have a chance to get his head clear. He, you know, maybe he should have tried to go close, grab hold, smother him, but he just couldn't. He wasn't able to weather the storm. There's the left hand. Staggers him off balance here. Marku jumps on him. Yeah, see it again there, just slipped outside the jab. Comes over the top with his left hand. Good shot, knocks him backwards, and then he just unloads with both hands. And you know, really more in here. Probably should have tried to get close, grab hold, try and survive the moment. But um, yeah, he just couldn't get past it. And uh, you know, the referee, I think, jumped in at the right time there. Because even though he was still upright, I think he was pretty much knocked down on his feet. So good stopping from the referee. And Tasha Moran just caught in a fog. Yeah, he just. He just... He was hurt, he was stunned, and once that happened, you can see from that shot, that was, that was a great stoppage by the referee. But he just couldn't regain himself, and, and you know, that's when then everything slows down a little bit, and you, and you can see the shots coming, but you can't get out of the way of them, and that's when it becomes dangerous. And look at that, he was really, really pumped. Florian Marku. Well, if that's anything to go by, 
for tonight's entertainment, we've got plenty to come in that respect. Let's get confirmation of that result with Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Lyson calls the stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO and still undefeated, the Albanian King, Orion Marku! So 54 seconds confirmed by Big Mo there. And the Fast and the Furious, he just jumped straight on him. And uh, no respect. We, we said in the build-up, Matt, it could be anything. Uh, it could go quick, and it proved to be. Yeah, I think he just got caught, didn't he, Warren? It was, they were, it was started up like they were trying to suss each other out, get their lead hands, their jabs go in, and you know, he overcommitted possibly with the jab, Warren, and Marku slipped outside, came straight back with his left hand. It, it, it shook more and he, he, he could see he backed off straight away he, he knew he'd hurt him jumped on him and like I say just unleashed both hands and you know Moran wasn't able to get close spoiled just couldn't really regain his senses and actually when he when the